My name's Curtis. I'm the owner of Black Umbrella Tattoo and Art Gallery in Garden Grove. I named it Black Umbrella from the video game movie series Resident Evil. Umbrella Corporation is, you know, the bad guys from it. But just the name Umbrella Corporation has always appealed to me. Typically with tattoo shops, you'll see colors in front. Black is a very popular word in tattoo shop names. So we rolled with it, Black Umbrella. The art gallery is an important part of, of the business. It's the first thing you see right when you walk in and it's kind of overwhelming that it's so big and whoever walks in for a tattoo is kind of taken off guard that this isn't your normal tattoo shop. What makes Black Umbrella different is the, the goals that we have. The gallery was set up to reach the community, give a platform for artists to get their art out there. We have art shows every two to four months. We want to reach other artists in other forms that do other mediums. And it's also important to get tattoo artists to do any other medium that they're willing to do. We want to push the craft more than, more than anything. I want to make it very known that I believe that tattooing is art, painting is art, sculpting is art, whatever it is, it's art. And it's of the same essence. And as far as tattoo goes, we, we want to collaborate with each client to give them what they want. If you walked in, you didn't know what you wanted to get, we'd sit you down at the desk, look, have you look through the portfolios and kind of get a feel for everybody's style. And you can kind of pick out tattoos in there that you're like, I like where this is going, or I like this one. It's just finding a few elements that, that either catch your attention or mean something to you. Or we can start with that family member you want to get the tattoo for. What is it that reminds you of them? Is there a smell? Is there an object? Is there a food? Anything to kind of start that process in your mind of making a visual object for this feeling that you have. If you want to be a tattoo artist, I'd say you, you need to take it serious. It's just as disciplined as any other medium. You should be tattooing every day to grow as an artist, to give somebody the best tattoo that you've done. And each day grow on that. It's gotta be about the passion, it can't be about the money. If there's an artist that wants to join our family, I'd say that the most important thing is the willingness to work as a group. I, I like the family feel that we have going. We've got a pretty good pretty good situation going on here where everybody works well together. The last thing you want to do is come to work and hate coming to work. Like, this is the funnest job in the world, but not for anybody else. A couple years ago, I brought uh, a longtime resident down here and he's just like, I've never walked on this street before in my life. And he lived in Garden Grove for over 30 years. Main Street is a hidden gym. It's not very well known. Even residents in Garden Grove don't really know that it still exists, or they know it exists and they don't, they've never been down here. That's the main reason we wanted to open down here. I mean, along from living down the street and wanting to walk to work, we wanted to invest in the community and we feel like Garden Grove Main Street is lost in time. I mean, it was lost in time and now Orange County needs to know about it and needs to come down here. I'm not gonna say that we were the change, but I've heard a lot of people say we were the catalyst for change, and it is on the verge of change. I'll say change again, just one more time. Change. With Steelcraft uh, on the verge of coming in, it, what they had like 200 business waiting lists just for 40 units, so, it's gonna be something. And with the Garden Amphitheater right there, it already programming beyond what it's ever done, it, it's the, it, this whole area is gonna be awesome. I really feel like within the next two to three years, like this whole downtown area is gonna be the new place to be. And if you're not here, you're lame. <laughs> <laughs>